Okay, we're going to find the critical numbers of this function. And remember, a critical number is where the first derivative of the function is equal to zero. Well, maybe the first derivative doesn't exist there. So, of course, we have to get our first derivative. And let me just write down f prime of theta. And the derivative of 2 cosine theta, since 2 is just a constant multiple, let's write that down. And the derivative of cosine theta is negative sine theta, like this. And then we'll just be adding with the derivative of sine squared theta. And if you would like, you can look at sine squared theta as sine theta and then to the second power. Because we will have to bring the power to the front, minus 1 to the power, and we get plus. First, we have the 2 in the front, right? the power rule. And then the inside states the same. We have sine theta, and that's to the first power. And the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of inside. And the derivative of sine theta is cosine theta. So let's put that down right here. And this is pretty much it. And right here, it seems that we don't have any fraction. So it looks like our derivative is going to exist everywhere. And I can just go ahead and set this to be 0 for the critical numbers. I don't have to worry about the D and E does not exist situation. And right here, to solve this equation, notice that we have 2 sine theta, 2 sine theta, so we can factor that out. And depending if you want to factor out negative or not, up to you. I think I will just factor out negative 2 and also the sine theta, because the rest is just solving equations. And if I factor out a negative 2 sine theta, this first term is going to be 1 inside, and then this is going to be a negative because I factor a negative. The 2 is out already. The sine theta is out already. We will have the cosine theta here. And you see, we have this times that. It's equal to 0. What do we do? Let's go ahead, put this down. Make this equals to 0. And secondly, we also make 1 minus cosine theta to be 0. For this part, we can divide both sides by negative 2. In another word, we have to look for sine of one angles will give us 0 after we divide the negative 2 on both sides. And for this right here, let's refer the unit circle on the side here. And we have to remember that sine is the y value on the unit circle. So the y value of the unit circles is 0, it's right here, and right here. And we have to look for the angles. The first angle is 0 radian, and the second angle you can just rotate to here, which is pi radian. But since this question didn't specific the domain, right? we'll just solve for all of the critical numbers. So we'll find all the solutions to this. In another word, you just keep going. It's from 0 to pi, and then you add another pi, which is going to be 2 pi, and then 3 pi, and then uh, 4 pi, and then 5 pi, 6 pi, and so on. And don't forget, we can also do backwards from 0. Go back, which is negative pi, and negative 2 pi, and so on. Anyway, the point is, from this equation, we are saying theta is equal to, we have 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, and so on. And each of them can be plus minus. And for the 0, you don't have to put on plus minus, because plus minus 0 is just 0 anyway. So that was for this equation. And when we have 1, it's 1 minus cosine theta is equal to 0. <laughs> That's minus 1 on both sides. We are saying negative cosine theta is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 1. We are saying cosine theta is equal to positive 1. And now, let's also refer to the unit circle. This time, cosine is the x value on the unit circle. And we're looking for the x value to be 1 on the unit circle. And that's going to be right here only. Okay, This right here, this point is 1, 0. And this will tell us that cosine of 0 is 1, and then sine of 0 is 0, and that's what we use over there. And for this, of course, this is the only point, though, because this is the only place that the x value is, uh, is 1. And you will see this is 0. 
you can do this, which is going to be 2 pi, and then you can also do a negative version, so it's 10 equal to plus minus 2 pi, and then 4 pi plus minus 4 pi, and so on. So these are the solutions for that. I'll write this down real quick. Theta is equal to 0, 2 pi, but that's plus minus, and then 4 pi plus minus, and 6 pi plus minus, and things like that. Well, well, for this right here, we have 0, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, and so on, right? And then together with this, this is just the even integer multiple that has every integers. So I'll just write this down for you guys. Critical numbers is going to be at the places theta equals to pi, but it's just a constant multiple. It's an integer multiple, and it can be negative or positive. Usually, we'll just write down n. We say theta is equal to n pi, when we specify that where n is an integer, meaning positive or negative whole numbers. And that's it.